since I'm on the topic of anime anyway, and, and I already kicked everyone out of the show who doesn't care about watching this, uh, let's talk about Wonder Egg. So, Wonder Egg. Jeez, where do I start with Wonder Egg? I just finished it the other day. I've been meaning to watch it for a... quite a while. Um, okay, so... Wonder Egg Priority. Let's see what the description of it is on my anime list. Following- oh god, this is a good start. Uh, following the suicide of a best- uh, best and only friend, Koito Nagise, uh, I quit- uh, I Oto is left grappling with her new reality, with nothing left to live for. She follows the instructions of, of a mysterious entity and gets roped into purchasing an egg, or specifically, a Wonder Egg. Upon breaking the egg in a world that materializes during her sleep, I is tasked with saving people from the adversities that come their way and uh, that come their way. In doing so, she believes that she has moved one step closer to saving a best friend with this dangerous yet tempting opportunity in the palm of her hands. I enters a place where she must recognize the relationship between other people's demons and her own. So actually that's a pretty good sum up of the first nine episodes. <laughs> so the first nine episodes, basically, you know, she gets this egg, throws it to the ground, she fights some, like, inner demon for some other person. Basically, the, the thing that comes out of the egg is some other person who committed suicide it, for various reasons. Some people, like, there was one of the girls who, uh, who did it because she didn't want to, like, grow old and lose her beauty. Other people joined a, a literally just joined a cult. Uh, and there was a bunch of stuff like that. There was a, some, some idol fans who wanted to, like, kill themselves and then also kill, like, the idol they were a big fan of. Like, fairly dark stuff. And through that, the main character, I, sort of, like, learns about, I guess, how to how to feel about what happened to her best friend, and the the whole goal of using these eggs is at the end of it, uh, she and all of the people she meets along the way basically believe that the best friend or whoever they are breaking the eggs for is going to be brought back to life. And that's sort of why she's doing it. So to sort of cope with what happened and also bring her best friend back. And over the course of the series, she meets a couple other people who are also trying to do the same thing. She meets Nika, Momoe, and Neidu. Now, they have, like, this really adorable friendship, and that that's great. They don't like each other at the start, but they, they realize that as they get to know each other, they all have their own sort of problems, and they, they, they start to become really, really close friends. Now, this is while the series is good. They... <laughs> Then episode, I think, 9 or 10 happens. Now, this is where it's like, hey, you know how we've established all of this stuff throughout the series so far? Uh, let's just forget about that, and now let's completely shift the focus. So, at this point, some of the girls start having their friends or acquaintances or whatever they were. Or I think in Nadu's case, yeah, in Nadu's case, it was her sister, uh, brought back to life. So all of this starts happening, and <laughs> then the antagonist gets introduced. So the antagonist is someone known as Frill. Now, if you haven't seen Wonder Egg, this is going to get very spoilery. So Frill is an AI that was created by Uda and Uda Aka, who are the... Uh, sorry, Aka and Uda Aka, sorry, their the names are stupid. Uh, who are the, the people that are selling them the eggs. So Frill was this AI created by them. And Frill was basically treated as their daughter. But at some point, Frill became too intelligent or something. And then, for some reason, uh, killed the wife of one of the people who made her. Then she gets locked in the basement, uh, just just left there for like 10 years. Over that time, the, uh, the kid that was born of the wife that was murdered, uh, she, you know, gets in, I think, she, by, I think by the time she's like 15 or something, she starts, for some reason, acting like Frill did. Uh, and then all of a sudden, she just dies as well. She's like, yeah, I'm just, she just kills herself. And, uh, I think, 
I don't remember who it was. It's Aka or Oda Aka. They, they, I think it's Aka. Aka was the one, yeah. Stupid names, don't, don't name your characters with basically the exact same name. So Aka realizes, wait, Frill isn't human. So like, she's probably, you know, still alive, locked in the basement. Goes down to the basement, I guess for the first time in 15 years. Uh, and th the reason I say it's for the first time in 15 years is because somehow Frill managed to get all of these computers and all of these like power adapters and all of this stuff set up without anybody noticing. Like, how do you not go into your basement for 15 years? Anyway, gets all this stuff set up and Frill's just like, hi, why'd you lock me down here? How's it going? And <laughs> just like, Okay, sure. Uh, ends up... Frill ends up getting out of that, making her own AI children named Hyphen, Dot, and Dash, which are great names. Now, this is where it gets even stupider. So, Hyphen, Dot, Dash, and Frill are able to enter these, like, these egg dreams that the, uh the main characters are having. And for some reason, they are vastly stronger than the main characters and just murder the, uh, the, the pets they had with them who were, like, helping them fight off of the, uh, fight off the creatures who were trying to kill the egg thing. So just murders them. They, uh, they get really depressed, except for Odika, who gets really angry and decides she wants to go and... I think she, I, who, I don't know, I think it was Hyphen who attacked her, decides she wants to get revenge uh, for her, her pet that was killed. Doesn't get it, because she's significantly weaker. Then, out of nowhere, literally out of nowhere, it's just like, Naidu decides to just piss off. She just leaves. And it turns out that she actually wasn't human either. She was also an AI. And I'm just like, what is happening right now? Like, how do you manage to introduce all of these plot points in your last three episodes and think this is a good idea? If it stopped at episode nine, amazing series. Absolutely amazing. It went from being like a nine or a 10 to being like a five in an episode and a half. I don't know how it managed to do it. I guess I've, I've heard they, they were like rushed towards the end of the production. So that's probably what ended up doing it. But you would have thought then that when they had like the extra special episode, they would have wrapped up the plot points. Didn't wrap it up, actually introduced more plot points and then set it up for a second season. So at, uh, during the whole like frill nonsense they introduce a concept known as the Warriors of Thanatus and the Warriors of Edos. And this is never touched upon at all past this point. So, I is like, I am going to become a Warrior of Edos. And nothing is done of that. It just goes about the rest of her life. We never even find out what the Warriors of Thanatus and the Warriors of Eros actually are. It's just an extra plot point that's never never expanded upon, and then it's over. And I don't think it's ever going to get a second season. Uh, also, the, the other problem with the special is you look at it and you think it's going to be like 46 minutes long. Uh, half of it's actually a, uh, a recap for the entire series. So, in fact, you only actually get an extra one episode, which was not enough time when you spend half the time expanding other plot points. And actually, not, not expanding other plot points, that'd be good. Adding other plot points. <laughs> so, I'm gonna say, if you want to watch Wonder Egg, do it. It's a it's an interesting show, but don't expect the, uh, the ending of it to be good. Go into it thinking, this has really good potential to be a good series. This is really exciting. The fight scenes are beautifully animated, absolutely amazing fight scenes, and then it just shits the bed nine episodes in, and just watch the train wreck as it unfolds. 